Hey guys, so today's tutorial is on an, a plugin updater. Um, I didn't make the class we're going to be using. Um, a guy on the bucket community called Gravity made it. And so I'm just going to show you guys how to use it. So first things first, we're going to want to get the link, or get the class. And all of these links will be in the description. So when we get to the class, we're just going to click raw. Uh, just close that. Uh, select all. And then we have to go to our project and create a new class and call it updater. And then just select all and paste over it. And then we just have to go and fix the package. Oh, come on. And change. Save. Okay. And so now in order to use this, we are going to want to create a global updater. So we're going to go private updater updater. And then we need to initialize the updater. And so in order to do, or to do that, we go updater equals new updater this. Um, and then we'll just put zero for now. I'll explain what that zero means in a bit. Then get file, um, and then, uh, just give me a second, I'm trying to remember what this next one is. Uh, might just be true. Oh, I forgot update type. So we just go update type dot. So when you're choosing an update type, you have default, no download, and no version check. If you just read over here on the side, you can see exactly what they do. But if you don't want to read, default will run a version check, and if the file is out of date, download the newest version. So that just compares if your version is the latest on bucket. If it's not, then it's going to download the newest, regardless if it's newer or older. No download is just going to get information about the file, or the newest file, but won't download it. And no version check doesn't care if it's the newest, oldest, whatever. It's just going to download the newest straight from Bucket. So for this, I'm going to go no download because that's normally what I always do. Okay, and then here is an announcer. So do or we'd set this to false if we don't want the plugin to tell the console if there's an update or when it's downloading the update or anything. But just so the server owners know what's happening, I recommend always setting that to true. And so now I'm going to explain why we have the zero. So this zero is the plugin's ID. In order to find the plugin's ID, we are going to use this link. So right now I am searching the CurseForge server mods projects API to find something that is close to a plugin named Fancy Portals. Oh, oops. Um, so pretty much what this will do is it'll tell you everything about the plugin. And so the only thing we need is this ID here. So let's copy that and go back to our plugin and change that. So if you're creating a new plugin, you won't have an ID. So you normally just want to leave the updater out because your plugin has to be on the buckets or bucket dev site and have, I think, 100 downloads before it actually gets an ID. I'm not entirely sure about the download thing, but I do know it has to be on, or you need a file on the bucket dev site before you can get an ID. So the reason that I made this updater global is because now we are going to create an event. So when a player logs in, it's going to tell them if there's an update. So we need to implement listener. And then we're going to have to do all that. And then we need to register this class as a listener. like that. Oh, is it register events? 
Yep. Okay, and then it's at event handler public void player join player join event. Let's import all that. Okay, so we're only going to send the player a message if the player is in op. So if e dot get player dot is op, we are going to send them a message. And we're just going to go new update plus updater dot get latest name. Um, actually, I just realized something. So pretty much what this is going to do right now is even if there's not an update, it's going to tell them that there's an update. So we need to make sure that there's an update. So we're going to just add this. Just give me a, or just bear with me. Okay, and I believe it is update available. Okay, so pretty much what this is, is it will, uh, it's going to check if the player is in op. And then it's going to check if the updated result equals update available. And if there is an update available, then it is going to send the player a message saying new update. And then it'll send something along the lines of, I'm just looking at this for the example. It'll end up sending the player new message. Or not new message, new update. Fancy portals v, and what is the latest version? Uh, and that doesn't say in there. So I'll just assume it's something like that because I don't remember. So it'll end up sending this message to the player if there's an update and if they are an op. So like I said, I am not the one that made this updater class. And as you can see, a guy from the bucket community called Gravity made it. I did not edit this class. I did not change anything. And yeah, I'm just showing you guys how to use it. Um, yeah, it's pretty simple. If you got any questions, post them in the comments. And I'll see you later.